All right, so here is our second example of a work problem when we have a variable force. So here we have force F of 3x squared newtons i hat plus 4 newtons j hat um, with x in meters is acting on a particle, changing only the kinetic energy of the particle. How much work is done on the particle as it moves from coordinates 2, 3 meters to 3, 0 meters? And does the speed of the particle increase, decrease, or remain the same? So since we're finding work done by a variable force, we know that we have to integrate. So we need to split this up into x and y uh, directions. So the work done in the x direction will be equal to the integral from x initial to x final of the force function as it varies with position respect to position. So in the x direction, work done in the x direction will equal the integral from 2 to 3. We get 2 for our first x coordinate, 3 for our second x coordinate. So from 2 to 3 of the function, which is 3x squared with respect to x. So here we take this 2, um, that exponent, we add 1 to the exponent, which becomes 3, and then we divide that whole thing by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is just 1, and we get x cubed, and then we're evaluating this from 2 to 3. Now you don't have to add that c term, that constant, because we do have a definite integral here, which means we have um, boundaries, right? So um, we do fin final minus initial, so we get 3 cubed minus initial 2 cubed. And so that is just 3 times 3 times 3, which is what, 27? And then minus 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 27 minus 8 is 19 joules of work done in the x direction. Um, now for y, we get work done in the y direction is equal to the integral from y initial to y final of the function um, as it changes with the y position. And so here we get work done in the y direction is equal to 3 from 3 to 0. Um, and then our function is 4 with respect to y. Now, for like this, all that is is like having um, 4y to the 0, right? Because y to the 0 is just 1. So 4 times 1 is, is 4. So what we do here, we're going to add 1 to that exponent, and that becomes 1. 4 divided by 1 is just 4. So we end up getting 4y for this. And that makes sense because if we take the derivative of 4y, it becomes 4. Remember, derivative is opposite of the integral. So we're going to evaluate this from 3 to 0. So final minus initial, we get 4 times 0 minus 4 times 3. <clears throat> And that just becomes 0 minus 12, so we get a negative 12 joules for that. Now, if we're finding the total amount of work done, all we do is we add up the work done in the x direction plus the work done in the y direction. So this ends up being 19 plus a negative 12 joules. So what we get here is 7 joules. So our total work done on the particle is seven joules. And then because it's a positive work done, that means that the speed of the particle is increasing. Because remember, positive work adds to, um, energy to the system and therefore our kinetic energy is increasing, our speed is increasing.